Hey guys, in this Facebook Live, it's a Q&A. Uh, I talk to a lot of people that join the Facebook Live, back and forth, questions and answers. It's got good content. Uh, they're asking about what I run on a daily basis, uh, the paddle attachments, things of that nature. I also talk about social media. Um, I did a podcast with John Bartolo. He invited me on. It was just one of those things. It was a knee jerk, kind of like on the fly thing. And uh, I talk about that as well and what I said on his podcast. So. All in all, it's a long podcast, but it's a good podcast, man. It's got really good content. I hope you guys enjoy. What's going on, guys? I know it's late. It's 9 o'clock here, Central Standard Time. It's 10 out in the east, and, um, you know, it's only 7 in the west coast. So, guys, um, just wanted to come to you guys uh, with another Facebook Live and uh, give you guys an ad, uh, uh, a chance to ask any questions that you guys may have for uh, for me. So if you have any questions, please let me know, guys. Uh, anything that's on your mind, whatever it is, whether it's you know uh, related to concealed carry, whether it's related to um, you know Bravo concealment in any way, or just you know anything that's personal in my life, you know if if I if I can share it with you guys, definitely will, man. Al Pacino, what's going on, Al? Dude, hoorah. Or what was it? Yeah, it was hoorah, right? Enjoy my Glock 43 holster, Al. Anything for you, buddy, man. Um, still winning on Scarface 2, but anyways. Um, <clears throat> Samuel Mercado. Uh, would guys ever make holster for guys in run comps? I guess would us guys ever make holsters for guys in run comps? I don't know, man. That's a good question. Uh, I I don't know if you can use ours or not, but it is what it is, man. It's not something that you know we're uh, we're looking forward to doing. But you know, who knows, man? Uh, you know, the future is is bright for Bravo, and uh, there's so many things that that we can do, and so many things that we will do. So. Um, you know, just keep an eye out. You know, a lot of people ask us for level three, level two holsters. And, uh, you know, we, we may start dabbling in, in that. You know, our process is so awesome that now we can do stuff like that. Sorry, I'm trying to get this video here because I'm also doing a, 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 I'm doing a video for YouTube. So, guys, if you missed the podcast here, uh, they should be uploaded to YouTube uh, in a couple of days. So, and then obviously you can go to the Bravo Audio Show and you can see the podcast there. Uh, will the Glock 45 3.0 fit my Gen 4 Glock 19? Yes, it will. If it's a 3.0, it will. If it's not, if it's a second gen, it, it's probably going to need a little bit of, of, of fitting. Obviously, the 3.0, what's cool about it is that it's got that retention screw, so it allows you to set the retention. So the 3.0, the, the Glock 45 is based off of the Gen 5 frame. And so the Gen 5 frame is a little bit, um, it's a little bit wider, just a tad. Um, it's wider than the Gen 4. Uh, so, um, you know, if you have a Gen 4 uh, uh, second generation holster, you're probably going to have issues. The Gen 5 is going to be a little bit tight. But um, on a 3.0, you can go Gen 3, Gen 4, and Gen 5, Glock 45 all day long. Glock 19X, also based off of the... Gen 5 Glock 19, so, or the Gen 5 Glock frame. Dig that shirt. Thanks, man. Chuck Fu. Yeah, man, Forever Texas. There you go. Or Texas Forever. Um, Texas is awesome, man. You know, and it's, it's, there's just, you know, it, it is a whole other country, man. I mean, Texas is just, it's unbelievable. Um, you know, the, the, the mindset that Texans have is, I hear from other people, I got a friend of mine that was in California, he moved down to Texas, he loves Texas. When he first got here, he was like, man, these guys, man, these, you, you Texans are, are, are um, you know, you carry yourselves like you guys, like you guys are, are it, man. And, uh, you know, but he soon realized that, that it's a good way to carry yourself if you're in Texas, so... Uh, yeah, man. Texas forever, man. Mm, have you gotten in force light models yet? No, Nick. Sorry, man. Sorry about that. Uh, definitely thinking about that. So, you know, guys, be patient with the Enforce lights. Uh, again, if you have to go somewhere, please. I've, I've never asked people to wait because, um, you know, the way that we create 
the way that we create our, our molds and the way that we create our new gun holsters, uh, it does take time. So if you need to go elsewhere, definitely, man, we totally understand. Any chance you'll make a holster for that TLR, for TLR7? The TLR7 is one of those lights that, um, as a matter of fact, I was talking to Manny, uh, who's my general manager, and uh, we were talking about uh, you know the cue that we have for the holsters. <clears throat> and we may have to start throwing some light bearing holsters, man, because the Glock 17 TLR1 moves a lot. I would think it would be the Glock 19, but the Glock 17 moves a lot, man. So uh, TLR7, definitely something that we'll look into for sure. FNX, no, Chris Jones, sorry about that. That 509, man, it's making, it's making, I mean, people are really digging that 509. And so, I mean, I had the FNX, and you know, I thought it was okay. I didn't think highly of it, but, and again, not, I think it was more ergonomics than anything. Uh, it was a solid pistol, but you know, nothing crazy for me, but man, that 509, man, people have been talking about it. People have been pushing it on us. So keep doing it, man. You may see a gun holster for it. Um, Texas is the best. Yes. Low network connection. What's going on? Texas is the best. Uh, that was Angelica Aguirre. Uh, Chuck Fu, best country in the world. Of course, United States. What happened to the special order option left-handed holsters? Did it for years and left it something? Did it for years and left it something happened? John Linton. Um, it's our process, John. And I don't want to, I guess I'm going to have to expand on this. It's our process. Our process uh, is different now. You know, we don't use little pieces of kydex and put them in ovens and you know use you know this special type of you know a lot of people are using that that little vacuum thing with a membrane and it and you know it, it forms the kydex we don't do that we can't we get way too many orders we get hundreds of orders a day and so if we did it that way we wouldn't be able to fulfill the orders people you know uh, our lead times would fall to four or five weeks and we just can't have that because we were there before and that doesn't work you know for the companies that do have three, four, five week lead times, it's because they don't get that many orders or they're, they're getting to the point where, where they're getting to the point where they can't, they need to fix their process. There's companies out there that offer uh, options as far as Kydex color, as far as uh, weapon lights and things of that nature. And their lead time is a week. Well, you know, that just tells you that they don't get a whole lot of orders. So they can go out there out of their way and get you know, some crazy color, uh, some crazy camo color and put it in there and, and make a holster. But it's just, they're just not getting the order so they can do stuff like that. We can't. So we pretty much scrapped the custom line and I'm still answering the question about the left-handed and what happened to them. We scratched the custom line and because of that, we started a new process, which was our AMP process, our advanced manufacturing process. And that worked well up until now. So now we have the 3.0, which are injection molded, uh, made from a, 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 a mixture of, of polymers and, and, you know, it's strong polymer. And so <clears throat> to go back to the left hand, we have to start from scratch. The problem is that left-handed holsters don't sell nearly, nearly as much as right-handed holsters. So left-handed holsters had to fall to the back of the line, not to the back of the line, maybe to the, to the back burner. We have left-handed Glock 19s and Glock 43s and we're working on the 26 as we speak right now for the torsion and the BCA, the 17 as well is gonna be uh, another option that, that, that the left-handers are gonna see soon. But it's just our process. And so to make a mold now, it takes a lot longer and it takes a lot more time. But at the same time, once we make it, then we'll be able to push them out. So left-handers you know it, it's it's one of those things where i know man it stinks but it's just the process the market speaks and the market you know 98 percent of the people that buy gun holsters are right-handed and we know those numbers because when we had them as custom left-handed uh holsters wouldn't move i mean we've got the glock 43 and the glock 19 left hand and they don't i mean it's it's night and day man i mean totally night and day so that's a short answer to a very uh, to a question that, that, um, that can go on forever as far as answering it. So I'm just trying to kind of, you know, throw everything in there, uh, at once. Cause I don't want to spend, you know, 30 minutes talking about our process and, um, you know, why we choose certain gun holsters, um, you know, uh, and, and, and put them in a certain order in the queue. I mean, but it is what it is. Um, 
but we're working on it, man. You know, obviously right now the Glocks and then we'll probably move on to the MMPs and maybe the P320s and things of that nature. The stuff that moves the shield, you know, so, but, you know, again, you know, our apologies. It's just the way it is. It's the nature of our manufacturing process. So in the near future, will you all make a sidecar holster similar to the one uh, T-Rex Arms Company makes? We've thought about that as well. That would be cool. Injection molded sidecar type of holster. Um, but, you know, we're just, you know, we're, we're feeling out the market and, and see if it's something that that uh, we want to do. And, uh, you know, the, the, the way that we the way that we look at things is we can either make a sidecar for a Glock 19 or we can make a Beretta 92 FS, which one's going to sell more. Right. And so we go by that. The Beretta 92 FS may outsell the sidecar. Well, why don't you do both? Well, we can, but regardless, if we're making one thing, we can make something else. And that's because we got two CAD designers, but we need to make sure that we put out whatever sells most. It's just what successful companies do. And I get it where you may feel like an outsider because you're left-handed or you have a weird gun that not a lot of people buy and you want, you want a holster for it. Um, you know, that's just the way it is, man the market speaks and we listen to the market and the majority of the people love our products. They're fine with their selection and they buy our products, you know, so it's just business, nothing personal. So yeah, you know, we need to look at the numbers as far as, you know, the, the, the sidecar, um, to see if it's something that we want to do to see if it's going to sell it. You know, T-Rex may sell a bunch of them and that's fine. Um, they don't do the process or they don't have the process that we have. And so our process is a lot more advanced. And so, you know, we can push them out, but if we're going to make a, if we're going to make a sidecar and who knows, maybe for T-Rex selling 20 of those a day is a lot for us selling 20 bread and 92 FS or 25 a day. If we ever make one, that just tells us that we need to go with a 92 FS than a sidecar. You know, for us, 20 a day of a, of a holster type is not a lot, man. It's not. It's, it's actually minimal. If we come up with a holster called Holster X and it's, a, uh, and, you know, it's, it's a hybrid of a, of a BC and a torsion and we only sell 20 a day, then that was probably a mistake. Glock 48, yeah, we've got it. And uh, it's a great pistol, man. I held it in my hands. It's a great pistol. But... Um, Again, it's the Q thing and we need to see how it's going to sell and we need to see all the, 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 you know, the emails that we get and, and you guys, you know, DMing me and, and asking us about the Glock 48 and if it gets overwhelming, we may have to throw it in there and push something back. It just, it's, it just comes down to sales. It comes down to sales and what people want. Sales dictate what the market wants. It does. That's it. I mean, that's just the way it is. And so if the market wants the Glock 48, we got to give it to him. Thanks for the response. I was born in 956, but I live in Wisconsin. Miss it so much. David, man, you went from one side of America, like the southern tip, all the way to like, I mean, it's not the northern tip, but it's up there, man. Glock 48 BC holster. Yeah, Ed, you know, hopefully I, I answered your question. Hello again from Indiana. Ezekiel, what's up, Ezekiel? Yeah, I remember you. I, I thought you were from India. I was like, dude, what's going on? LC9s, man, those LC9s, those Ruger LC9s, um, you know, a lot of people buy them. The reason a lot of people buy Rugers, the, the reason that a lot of people buy uh, Tauruses is because, you know, gun stores like, you know, we, we have Academy down here. I don't know, whatever you guys have out there. Uh, you know, obviously there's Bass Pro Shop, there's Cabela's and, uh, you know, other gun stores. Gun stores usually push that to the customers because those are the guns that most people can afford or that a lot of people that I would say most people can afford. So we need to start looking at that. Those Ruger LC9s are good little pistols. And um, when we had the custom line and we offered that Ruger LC9, it moved very well. So that is something that we need to look into. The Taurus Millennium would move well, too. So things that, you know, we need to look into. But obviously, there's other things that move a lot better. So. And here's the thing, the Glock 48 just came out. The LC9 has been around for years and years, but the Glock 48 may supersede the LC9 as far as uh, in Q because the Glock 48 just sells a whole lot better. So you see what I'm, where I'm getting at? It's just, it's just what you guys want. 
but one person it doesn't speak for the whole market so you know just trying to be clear here um well thanks for taking the time to explain i'm holding out because i like your stuff thanks john and look listen um again i we don't ask people to hold on if you guys want to hold on then that's great man but we cannot promise you anything man it's just one of those things where our process takes a long time and if you have to go somewhere else fine do it i hear it a lot uh, and especially on YouTube uh, comments, I answer all those comments, man. On YouTube, I answer all the comments on Instagram, all the comments on Facebook, all the comments on Twitter, all the comments on LinkedIn. I answer all those comments. And so uh, I hear this a lot where, um, you know, people get upset and they're like, well, I'm going to have to, I'm forced to go somewhere else and you guys think and blah, blah, blah. It's like, fine, go somewhere else, you know? It's just the way it is, man. You know, you, you walk to a restaurant and you have a favorite dish and they don't offer it. You may have to get up and go. And so, please, guys, uh, no hard feelings. Go. We want you. I My main goal is to get you guys to start concealed carrying with the best possible gun holster that we offer. And if we don't offer it, go somewhere else. But just start concealed carrying. You know, the reason I do these podcasts is that, you know, I like educating people on concealed carrying. I've been doing it for 10 years straight straight man i can't leave my home without a gun i can't is it uncomfortable something yeah i of course it is i'm not gonna sit here and lie and say no man bravo concealment holsters they disappear and you can do this and that and you know there's some gun holster companies out there that you know they try to sell you a lie and i'm not i'm not sitting here saying that our gun holsters are comfortable and you're not gonna feel it there's no such thing there isn't a magical holster out there that you put it on and you're not gonna feel it and you know you can dance and bowl with it and you can play softball with it you can work out you can do cardio no there isn't and so i'm just being honest uh i think we have a great gun holster or holsters or types right the bca or the torsion if you want to go inside or outside the waistband and you know you got to commit to it there is no magical perfect holster there isn't stop looking for it what you need to do is change your mindset on conceal carrying and understand how important it is that's where the magic lies in your mind don't be a slave to your mind conquer that start conceal carrying commit know your state laws know your local laws know what it is you can can't do do your due diligence there's a thing called google google if you live in indiana find out if you can conceal carry in indiana and what are the what are the laws don't get in trouble if you need a you know if if, if you need a chl or a ccw go out there and get one right but you need to go out there and do your due diligence find out what it is you can't can't do and then commit to conceal carrying you know you want to go inside the waistband and you wear 34 inch uh or you wear 34 inch waist pants but you're actually at 36 stop lying to yourself and go out there and buy 36 inch pants you may have to go 38 just depending on the pants depending on the size depending on the fit but stop lying to yourself man the truth shall shit shall set you free I'd buy a Bravo sidecar once I drop some weight. <laughs> All right, there you go, man. I'll buy a sidecar for my Glock 19. Yeah, and I get it, uh, Ezekiel. You guys will buy one. But again, we get so many orders a day. Not everybody, not everybody's on, 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 on Facebook Live right now watching me speak. And so if we get the community to talk to us, you're going to see a lot of people are going to say, well, I don't care for a sidecar. You know, yeah, they're hip, they look cool, and a lot of people are running them, and a lot of companies are making them. But are they really selling? It's the guy that says, um, you know, I have a Beretta PX4. And, and nothing, I'm not, I'm not bashing that gun. I think it's a good little pistol. But it doesn't sell enough. That's why we don't offer a holster for it. Yeah, but there's a, all my friends have one. Yeah, you and your friends and your little bubble and, you know, your cronies you guys have it that's great but the world doesn't revolve around you and your little bubble you need to look at the bigger picture what's out there what's really selling you know a lot of i've said this before when you buy a gun you need to make sure that you go out there and you buy a gun that you can get a, uh, accessories readily available you know you want night sights you want you want to run an rmr on your slide but you've got you know some weird gun that they don't even make anymore then that may not work for you you know so all these things are super important guys uh just 
understand that that um, just because you own it or you have it doesn't mean that everybody else does. And and I, I'm not guys, please, I'm I'm not singling out anybody here. I'm just talking in general. Well, the 48 fit the 43 holster? No, man. Sorry, Matthew. The 48's a lot longer, and I think it's a little bit wider. Hey, from Kentucky, hope you're having a blessed week. Thanks, Josh. I am, man. I love what I do, man. This is, I love talking to you guys. This is what, this is what I want to do. And so we had church tonight, and it was great. We had, we had a little, you know, dinner there. Um, but as soon as I got home, came straight to this, man. You know, I want to talk to you guys. I want to hear you out. I want to know what you guys are thinking. I want to know what you guys, uh, you know, are looking forward to from Bravo Concealment. We may have it, we may not, but I like this back and forth. I need feedback from you guys. I really do. What color options come back? When, well, will color options come back? Samuel Mercado. Yeah, color options, that's going to be tough because the machine of Bravo, the way it runs and the way we make our holsters, the fact of the matter is that uh, it's just a weld oil machine. And so if we want to throw in a color, it's going to slow down the process. And then if we do that, then our lead times are going to get longer. And quite honestly, the colors don't sell as much as black. Everybody wants black. Most people want black. Let me rephrase that. Most people want black. Again, just because you and your friends want flat dark earth and yeah, man, I want flat dark earth. Yeah, me too, man. Hey, Peter told me once that he wanted a flat dark earth. Why doesn't Bravo make flat dark earth? And it's three guys in the middle of Ohio or in Utah that want flat dark earth and we're supposed to, you know, slow down the process to throw in flat dark earth. It, it just doesn't work that way because we'll put it out there and we'll, they'll sell, but they don't sell nearly as, 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 or enough as, as black, it, they just don't. So those things are super important, guys, uh, to understand that. Um, but I get it. I understand. And, and again, I'm not bashing anybody here. I'm just calling it, you know, I'm just being truthful here. There's that bubble that wants flat dark earth, man, or, you know, we want multicolor or multicam and it just, it just doesn't sell. It, it, it doesn't, it doesn't prove to us if it did guys, we'd offer flat dark earth. If it sold, if it sold in abundance, it doesn't, it doesn't. So Samuel, to answer your question, not anytime soon, man, it, that doesn't mean that we won't ever do it, but if there's a lull or if, if there's a chance to sneak in a color, we may do it because, Hey man, if you want a flat dark earth, we'd like to get you one. But for us to stop what we're doing, and say, whoa, man, let's slow this big bad machine down called Bravo Concealment so we can offer Flat Dark Earth to a couple of people. That's not going to happen. Uh, how much longer until the P365 is back in stock? Brian, yeah, it's it's going to be a while, man. Our apologies on that. It's just, it is what it is. But as soon as it's out, we will let you guys know. Definitely, man. Will a light bearing mod wing work on the DOS light bearing? Will a light bearing mod wing um, it, uh, I, I assume you're talking about the wing. Yeah, it may, you know, our light bearing holsters don't have the torsion technology in them. So, um, you know, for a light bearing, a lot of people do put uh, a modified wing on there just so they can, you know, throw the grip back in and, and, uh, and conceal it. The grip on the gun holster is the hardest thing to conceal. So, uh, yeah, a lot of people do it. I've seen pictures. So if you can put it on, put it on. A lot of people put it on, on our torsion as well, because they want that extra, um, just that extra, you know, can't. So, you know, if, if you can do it, the more power to you, man. I just don't know what fits and what doesn't, who makes them, who doesn't. Um, you know, I kind of want to stay away from adding another component to the holster. Um, you know, the torsion technology, it, it, and I don't, I don't have it with me. It's, it's in my bedroom, but I'm not going to go out there and get it. The torsion technology is integrated into the holster. So it allows you to conceal it better. And a lot of people love it. And I know it works because we used to have our DOSs and you can see the difference, but then some people want that extra, you know, that extra oomph. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if, if you can put one on there, great. I just don't know what fits. I don't know what brand, I don't know who makes them as far as, um, you know, what company. So you may have to go out there and just try them out. It's just, it is what it is. Sorry about that. I don't have an answer, but 
I've seen people do it. Waiting for a 3.0 holster for the SIG P320 Compact. Yeah, Daniel, you know, that's that's another option that we're going to see. That's for sure. I just don't know when, Daniel. Hold on, let me take a drink of my coffee here. Rad dad. I am rad. But it, it'll definitely show up, and, and we will offer it eventually. Um, so, will you have a holster for the SIG M11A1? No, probably not. Sorry, man. <laughs> um, thanks. I like it for summer carry under a t-shirt, Bill. Thank you, Bill. Awesome, man. I love my paddles for the BCA, Scott Stahi. Or Stahl. Oh, it's Stahl. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, the paddle attachments work great, guys. Just awesome stuff. Uh, people love them. And uh, if you haven't tried them, you need to try them. You got 30 days. If you don't like them, just send them back for a full refund. I love mine on Sundays when I wear my gun, easy on and off. I love it. I get in the truck, I take it off. I put my gun, you know, next to me. It's just, just the convenience and the fact that you can take a mag pouch and you don't have to unthread your belt from your pant belt loops and then put it into the gun and in, into the mag pouch belt loops. It's just the hassle, guys. You just grab it and you put it on. You've seen the videos on Instagram. If you scroll down far enough, you'll see the videos where I put them on and take them off. As a matter of fact, I did a video about last week, so you don't have to scroll down too far. You'll see videos where, you know, the ease of putting them on and taking them off. They're just awesome. People love them. Do you have some of your EDC holsters and rigs to show as you get? Yeah, man, they're in the bedroom. I don't... Should I get up and go get them? I don't want to leave you guys, man. Um... Sorry, man. I should have got. I, I should have brought them with me. But if I have time, I'll, I'll go get them. I got a lot of answers. I got. I, I've got a lot of questions to answer. Um, I'm getting the first holster from you for a Glock 45. It should be here Friday. Can't wait to try it out. Thanks, Bill. Awesome, man. I love my Glock 43 holster from Bravo. I'm waiting for the P365 to be back in stock. Not going anywhere else. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it, man. Awesome. What do you carry, Matthew Dor? I carry a Glock 19. Uh, with an RMR, I don't go get them. Hey, it's gonna take me literally, guys. It's gonna take me five seconds. Go. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. All right. So, this is what I carry with the paddle attachments. This is a Glock 19. It is an innovative gunfighter solutions. It is the Stealth EDC, awesome gun. The lower was made by, or uh, it was the, the stippling was done by, uh, by uh, um, who was the stippling made by? I think it was, um, yeah, I think it was Salient Arms International did this. This is a this is an old stippling job, man. I got this done about five years ago, so it's old. I mean, obviously the new stippling stuff that the guys are making nowadays is awesome. Um, and so there it is, right there. And it's got the S3F barrel. It's a fluted barrel, and it's got the base plate for an armor, but I don't run an armor in this one. And this is the 3.0 Glock 19 awesome gun holster love it man um, so there it is guys that is one of my pistols the other one I run I run two Glocks this this Glock I run it inside the waistband this one has an RMR from Trigicon and it's got a salient arms barrel and the lower or, or, or the frame why do I call it lower it's the frame the frame of the gun the stippling was done by um, by Risen Gunworks. This guy does great job. This stip man, this guy does clean stuff. Guys, I've seen stippling out there. And there's there's just there's some butchering jobs out there, man. This guy's clean, clean, man. I'm talking clean, you can eat off it, man. Just super clean. Um the slide is a salient arm slide with a salient arms barrel. I think I said that already. It's got tall suppressor sight so that it can co-witness with the RMR, the red dots on. And that's pretty much it, man. I've got the mag release. It's from a Glock 21, nothing fancy, just a Glock 21. They stick out a little bit more, obviously. 
Uh, oh, and the slide release. I can't remember what slide release that is. I think it's a Vickers. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure. But that's it. Oh, and the trigger on this is... Oh, the trigger on both of my Glock 19s are from Innovative Gunfighter Solutions. So that's pretty much it. And this is a torsion gun holster. Torsion gun holster, single belt clip configuration. I like that setup. Never had an issue. Well, it's only on one belt clip. Has it ever fallen? Dude, guys, tonight I was running at five o'clock position, sitting down in a chair. No issues at all. And wasn't I wasn't even running the Bravo concealment Cintron belt. I was just running a cheap Macy's belt. But the clips work, man. These are new clips that are gonna be coming out soon. And so they're not as big and bulky as our other clips. And uh, dude, these the clips work. They're on there. We've been thinking about bringing in some soft belt loops, but you know we're not sure about that yet. So guys, if, if you guys, you know, a lot of guys want those soft belt loops with that one way pull, uh, um, um, what is it, the, the snap, the pull snaps or one way snaps or whatever they call them. So we, you may see those eventually, but uh, obviously we're just thinking about it. It's not something that we're gonna do tomorrow. So that is the 3.0 torsion gun holster. And you can see as it sits on you, this is the way, this is the way this line right here, that's how it's gonna, that's parallel to the ground. And you see how, you see how the, the, the grip of the gun goes in. If it was another type of holster, it would sit to the parallel of this line. But this gun holster sits to the parallel of this line. To the parallel, does that make sense? I'm just trying to be clear here, guys. Uh, excuse my, my uh, just my choice of words. See, so it's got that inward 10 degree cant. This is the way the DOS sits. This is the way the torsion sits. So you see right there, that little degree, it's a 10 degree that takes the grip and pushes it up against the body. So it's an awesome, it's, it's an awesome gun holster. And then the other gun that I run is my Glock 43. Uh, sometimes, you know, if I'm gonna go to the movies and I'm gonna be sitting down for a long time, Glock 43. If we're gonna go out to eat and I know I'm gonna be sitting down for a very long time, Glock 43. Uh, but I try to take the 19 as much as I can, but this one nothing special on this one I think it's it's factory other than the sights. Yeah, it's got some trigicon sights uh, with a tritium uh, the tritium front front sight um, And and rear sights as well uh, But that's it nothing special. It's just standard man. It's got the factory trigger factory everything I haven't messed with this one at all, but this is my this is a nice little gun um planning on getting a 43x man just because you know you can carry more the 365 is an awesome little gun as well i don't conceal carry that but i'm thinking about really getting one we have some at the shop we obviously use real guns to fit your holsters we don't use blue guns or anything like that um but we have some at the shop but they're obviously for for the crew they're obviously for the manufacturing uh but I, i'm really thinking about getting one for myself so Matthew, that's what I carry. Uh, somebody else asked me about the gear that I run. That's some of it. I left the mag pouch there, but yeah. Uh, sorry guys, uh, I'll get to your questions. I need, I need some more coffee. Grateful that I like Glock 9 millimeters and that I'm right-handed because I dig my torsion BCA for my Glock 19s and my Glock 45 favorite holsters. Stay groovy. Thanks, David. <laughs> Stay groovy. I like that, man. I like that. That's cool. Will you guys have the torsion holster for the piece? Yeah. Uh, so we were talking about that, Jacob, earlier. Uh, hopefully we'll get it back soon, man. Our apologies on that. Can I purchase your IWB clips and put them on my put them on my eyes of the waistband holster? Does anyone do this? Yes, people do that, Frank. Um, you can definitely do that. Uh, but you know, most people if they want to go inside the waistband, they'll just go with the torsion. But yes, you can definitely do that for sure. And if you go to accessories, you'll see the belt clips and then it'll, it'll, it'll allow you to choose for a BCA, right? And so you choose for the BCA and you're going to get the two long stems. They go on there. You know, people like it, man. People dig it. Some people do, especially if you're going to run at the, you know, four or five o'clock position. Yeah. Uh, ready to buy my third holster. Thanks, Jay. Thanks, Jacob. That's awesome, man. Okay. So better question with random pop-ups of small color batches pop up again, <laughs> Samuel. Yeah, you know, and, and we, we may get some. So, you know, don't, I'm not saying that we'll never do it. What I'm saying is that it's not as, uh, it's not as effective for us. And most people really don't dig color. They want black. So 
but it doesn't mean that we won't do it. We may do it. You know, it just depends, guys. Uh, love my 3.0, David. Thank you so much, man. Brian Buell, thanks. Um, I'm waiting for an outside voice for the MMP45 full size. Oh, Peter, that's going to be tough, man, because as you know, we pretty much, I know we have the Glock 17 and I know we, we even have the P36, uh, the P320 full size, but we gear more towards concealment and you can conceal carry an MMP45, but the reason we have, you haven't seen a Glock 21 is because most people don't carry them for concealment, but I understand the Glock 17 TLR1 sells a lot. And that's not a, that's not, when you think of concealment gun, you don't think of a Glock 17 with a TLR1, right? An HL. So I, I, I get it, man. And so you may see that eventually. It's just not anytime soon, man. My apologies. Will you ever bring back the shoot and scoot rig? David, no, you remember those? Those were crazy, man. If you guys have one, uh, hold on to it. It's a collector's item because no, we're not going to bring them back. If we do, they're going to be injection mold. It's just going to be a lot easier to put together. So, yeah. Um, I see the 3.0 is lighter and thinner, shorter than the regular Bravo holster. I'm waiting for... I'm waiting for it. I have outside the waistband and torsion holster. They're not thinner. They are lighter, obviously, because of the polymer. Uh, they, oh, but you mean thinner. Yeah, they're thinner in this way, uh, obviously, you know, thinner this way and shorter. Yeah, so what we did is we tried to remove as much excess from it and keep it as low profile as possible. So yeah. Any questions, guys, please, man. John McNamara, please explain how the paddle attachments work if you have not already done so. I love your products. Yeah, John, so again, these are the paddle attachments. They are on a BCA gun holster. And as you can see, this is the back and this is the front. So they come with struts. And as you can see on this one, I only put the struts on the front side or on the slide side. The reason I did that is that it's gonna give you a more aggressive cant than, than the 10 degree cant that the holster already comes with. So it's gonna give you a good forward cant, 15 degree cant, FBI cant, whatever they call it. And so this allows it to conceal better because the hardest thing to conceal is the grip, right? Because the grip wants to stick out like a sore thumb. So it just goes up against your body and it hides it. So that's what the paddle attachments are. Um, or that's what a, what a holster with paddle attachments look like. What the paddle attachments do is that you just slip these over your belt and they'll grab onto your belt. I don't have, I'm not wearing a belt. I'm not wearing jeans right now. So I couldn't, I couldn't explain it to you, but they just pretend my hand is a belt. They just slip in and, and, and they go, behind your pen and behind your belt if that makes any sense and it's just easy on and off now to take it off you have to grab it grab your gun and grab your holster and kind of pull on it so that it can release but these things they hold on tight man this is the we should like we should have patented this called it like the lock jaw you know the lock jaw uh 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 paddle attachment or something because they hold on and they're not gonna let go until you're ready uh, to grab it and kind of wiggle it out uh, so, that, so that it can let go. But that's what the paddle attachments are, man. They're awesome. I'll keep this here. Uh, what's the next big thing in the works for Bravo, Spencer Taylor? Um, just bringing in more 3.0s, Spencer. Just trying to get more 3.0s uh, because people seem to love them way more than our second gen. And I, and, and, and I understand, man. You know, it's it's just... A smaller footprint uh, it's got the retention on there um, it's just a nicer looking gun holster and it just works very well and so that's that's what we're trying to do obviously we're trying to bring in more belts as far as colors I think colors on belts is a lot easier than colors on a gun holster for some reason uh, people dig colors on belts uh, way more than they do on a gun holster I know it sounds weird because if you go to Instagram, you're going to see a bunch of gun holsters with colors, but that's just more for the picture. It's just more so that it can look cool. But, you know, what do you think is going to sell more? A gun holster with uh, Donald Trump's face on it or a black gun holster? A black gun holster, man. You know, and it's cool, man. You want a gun holster with Donald Trump's face on it or you want a gun holster with the Mona Lisa on it. That's cool, man. You know, if you dig it, cool. I, it just doesn't sell. It doesn't. So, um, yeah, that's the belts. 
that's what we're looking at. And uh, we got some other stuff that I can't really, I can't really share with you guys. My apologies. I said earlier when I started this, you know, ask me anything. If I can share it, great. If not, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, uh, you know, I'll let you guys know that I can't. But uh, good things are coming, man. Um, guys, Bravo is stinking awesome, and it's taking off, and it's because of you guys. You guys are doing it. You guys are killing it. You guys are allowing me to do what I love to do on a daily basis, and I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I'm just so grateful, man, for you guys. You guys are awesome, man. Uh, Torsion Rules. Thanks, man. Thanks, Lee. Appreciate it, man. I ordered my custom leather holster online. Good price. When I got the confirmation email, I had a heart attack delivering 11 weeks. Whoa, Andrew. What's going on, man? Uh, I don't even want to ask you what company that was, but that's crazy. 11 weeks. But there you go. And look, it's, it's a custom-made... It's a custom made leather holster, right? So that's fine. But nobody wants to wait 11 weeks, man. Nobody wants to wait 11 weeks unless you're a diehard fan. And I've had, we've had people tell us, bring back the custom. I'll wait three months. I'll wait a year and I'll pay over a hundred bucks. That's literally what's going to get to. But the fact is that you're one in a million, man. Most people don't want to wait. Most people don't want to pay. Custom holsters take a long time to make super long time maximum output man if you get your product to where you can pump it out with good quality as a matter of fact advancing in quality and pumping it out that's the key and then you drop your prices right now our gun holsters this gun holster 39.88 are you kidding me 39.88 who's doing that and automatically people think well oh, it must be a cheap gun holster no man the process man the way we were in bravo the fact that we're not out there buying, uh, you know, a uh, 50,000 building because it's just cool. You know what my office is? My office is the conference room. You've seen it. I got a desk with a table. I mean, that's what we do at Bravo. And we're going to expose all this, man. We're making videos where we're going to take you guys behind the scene to expose. You should see how we run, man. We run efficient. Why? Because we want to pass on the savings to you. That's it, man. That's it. Bottom line, we have you guys in mind. I know, and look, you guys don't want to believe me. That's fine. I'm telling you, it's coming from the horse's mouth. Every move that we make, you guys are in our thoughts. Every move that we make, how much is it going to cost? Are they willing to pay for it? No. Okay, so then we need to drop price. Well, how do we do it without dropping quality? Well, this is how we do it. We talk to our CAD design and we say, we need a holster that's going to be awesome and that's going to work even better and we want it at this price. Well, we don't talk to them about price, but we talk to the people, the necessary people there at Bravo Consumer and we make it happen for you guys. That's what we do. That's what we do, guys. That's it, man. And so, $39.88, guys. And you guys are killing it, man. I'm looking at my I got I I'm looking at my cells right now. You guys are killing it. And I thank you guys, man. I'm just you guys are awesome, man. You guys are awesome. You're going to hate me, but you made this a QA LOL. Would you guys ever do a trading program for people who want to get the newest you have to offer? Samuel, yeah, you know. It's tough, man. Yeah. Email us. You know, maybe the girls will work something out with you, man. You know, our, our customer service, um, maybe they will, maybe they won't. It, it's tough. Um, I get it. I know there's companies that, you know, that you can trade in the shells and all that. Um, something to definitely think about. I get it, man. You know, you're running a Glock today and then tomorrow you're running a P320. And forget it, you're running a Glock you know, three years ago, and, and now you get a P320 and you got a Glock holster and you don't know what to do with it. I understand. So, you know, shoot us an email. I don't think there's anything we can do. And, uh, you know, my apologies, but I like that question. I really do. Maybe we can work on something where, you know, we can do something that will benefit you guys, guys that want to trade in your old gun holsters. I'm not, I'm not, I hate you, it's Q&A, man. Now I have six products. I have DOS inside the waistband and O's, but mine are older holsters. What's really the difference between new holsters you are making today? So this is a Gen 2. It's a Kydex holster. This is a Gen 3, right? It's a, it's a polymer holster. 
So this is what we offer right now. If you have something older than this, then you have our custom holsters. And so the difference is, I think the quality is better. Um, the difference is the way it's done. I mean, we're, we're using CNC machines, three thousandths of an inch, just precision on the Gen 2. And then you can't get any more precision than a polymer uh, injection molded gun holster. You just can't. The way we make them. I don't know about other gun holsters making their injection molds. I have no idea. But the way we make them, I mean, these things are precise, man. If you look, if you look at the lines, there's no overlapping, guys. There's no, you know, like I've seen holsters where I get them and, 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 and they're like this and they're injection molded. No, ours line up like seam, like seamless, like, I mean, obviously there's a seam, right? But just these things are, these things are a work of art, man. I'm telling you, if you ever get one, look at it closely and just look at it. It's just, it's awesome, man. I, I mean, I can stare at these holsters all day, man. These things are awesome. So, yeah, what's the difference, man? There's so many things. Um, delete this live app. Okay. Sure, man. Um, why? Is there something wrong with the quality? What's going on? I don't know. Also brought the pancake attachments for the BC. Also bought the bag. Still more comfortable than the majority of holsters. Yeah, Lee, the pancake attachments uh, are awesome. And we're working on some new ones. I should I have some in the office. I'll show them tomorrow on Instagram Live. Um, we are working. The problem with our old pancake style belt loops is that they went from this hole to this hole. So on the 3.0s, you can't adjust them to get more cant. But our new ones, uh, they go from, from a, a different hole pattern to a different hole pattern, which allows you to adjust them. So they're going to be cool. Uh, they're lightweight, but they're strong and, uh, you know, they're flexible. You can grab it and flex it and it's not going to break. And wh what's cool about that is that it allows them to take on the curvature of your body. Our old ones are a little bit more stiffer and they're just a lot harder. It puts, it puts stress on, on, on your holster. It puts stress on your belt. These new ones are just so awesome, man. And, and they're practically unbreakable. They're awesome. Uh, they will be out soon. Uh, they'll have our logo on and everything. They look real nice. So I can't wait for those as well. But the ones you bought work. They work great. I'm just saying that these are just a little bit better. Oh, the screws from the pallet attachments loose up during constant placing it on and removing it off from carrying. Oh, the screws of the... Okay, Daniel. Yeah, so you need to go in there. Here's one thing. If you're going to have them on, put some Loctite. The only reason we don't put Loctite... Number one, we don't... We don't sell a gun holster with them. You have to attach them yourself. Uh, but put some Loctite on them. If you don't have Loctite, some clear uh, nail polish will do. And that'll keep that from happening. Uh, but yeah, every once in a while, kind of like our old belt loops. Or not our old belt loops, but kind of like our belt loops or even our belt clips. Just go in there and tighten them every once in a while. I mean, it's just... It does have that maintenance on it because they're screws. Uh, eventually, hopefully, we'll get somewhere to where they'll just snap on there and they'll have a little release button. That'd be awesome. Maybe we can get to that. But right now, this is what we offer. So again, uh, some blue Loctite or red. If you know they're going to go on, they're not going to come off, put some red Loctite on there. And, and you're good to go, man. You're not going to have that issue anymore. Uh, if you ever lose any, contact us. Hardware is under unlimited lifetime warranty, guys. It protects everything. The unlimited lifetime warranty protects the holster, the hardware, anything that comes with it. Just call us up. We'll send you some right away. You don't have to pay for them. I'm also waiting to see the outside the waistband for the SIG 365. I use outside the waistband for uh, requalifications, but the torsion is a great IWB option. Thanks for explaining the use of the struts on the paddle. Yeah, you're welcome, John. Um, yeah, the, three, the 365 sells really good. Obviously, it's sold out. So we may have to do an outside the waistband. A lot of people have been asking for an outside the waistband for the P365. So um, Lee, both mine ship the next day. Uh, you're talking about the 3.0. 3.0s usually ship uh, the next day or you know a couple of days if you don't add anything else to it, uh, including the mag holder. Oh, there you go. Can't beat it by far. The best Glock 19. None better. Thanks a lot, Lee. Appreciate that. The new holster are more reliable. I think so. I think they're super reliable. The problem with Kydex, Kydex is great, guys. 
The problem with Kydex is when you talk about heat, especially here in South Texas, or if you live in a warm climate area, Arizona, you throw it in the trunk, you put it on your dash, the heat gets to it. Kydex, Kydex is a moldable plastic through heat, and it takes about 300 degrees for, for it to really just get malleable. 200 degrees, it's going to start moving, and so it's going to start trying to you know go back to its original form. So um, polymer, you have no problems with heat, you have no problems with cold weather. So um, the new holsters are more reliable. Yeah, when are you guys going to come out with a Glock 19 light bearing conceal holsters to include left-handed conceal magazine holsters? The left-handed magazine holders, we're working on them as well. So you're gonna get left-handed holsters, you're gonna get left-handed magazines. Light bearing holster, light bearing holster on the left-handed, I'm not sure, man. That's a tough one, David. But uh, you know, all these things are definitely things that we're thinking about on a consistent basis. Um, yesterday I had a podcast or I joined a podcast with John Bartolo. If you guys don't know who John Bartolo is, uh, John Bartolo has a consulting company uh, and he's also um, you know, into fitness, he lifts weights and he's been in the gun community for the longest time. And so he knows a lot and he's got his podcast called The John Bartolo Show. You can check it out on, on, on YouTube. And he invited me on. It was just one of those things where it just happened right away. I was watching him. He asked to, he asked me to come on. I went on and we talked about social media. And I spoke about Shot Show and why we don't go to Shot Show. So it's a great uh, it's a great podcast. If you want to hear it, uh, go check him out. John Bartolo YouTube. And I was I think I think it was podcast fourteen. It was the one from yesterday. And uh, he's wearing a green hoodie. And so check it out. I come in and at about the fifteen minute mark, somewhere around there, twenty minute mark. And uh, it was a good, it was a good podcast. We we're talking about uh, social media marketing and you know the things that that um, that social media marketing can do for a business and can do for personal branding. I truly believe in social media marketing, man. I believe that um, you know the small guys now have so much leverage against the big guys that you know even if you're small, you're gonna be able to create attention and maybe put a dent into you know one of the bigger guys so as far as us are we are we the big guys do we consider ourselves the big guys i think we are uh but i'm just speaking for myself so we need to be careful about social media and what other people are using it for the platform because again guys it's just leveling the playing field it really is man you know 20 years ago you needed a lot of money to make a podcast you needed special cameras you needed you know sony you know obviously they didn't have 4ks back then but you need to spend a lot of money. Now, all you need is a cell phone. I'm, I'm doing a podcast right now with a, an $800 camera, a Rode mic, and my cell phone. That's it. So we're talking about, obviously, the iPhone, but we're talking about, what, just on the camera and the Rode mic, about a 1000 bucks, and I'm doing a podcast. And it, I'm creating attention. I'm getting in front of you guys. And so it's super important, guys. If you like talking, if you feel like you have something to say, and you like being opinionated and 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 you're not afraid about what other people are gonna say or you don't care like, oh, you know, I just, I'm waiting, you know, I, I need to get a facial, like forget that dude. Go out there, do something, man. Put yourself out there, use social media to your benefit. I recommend that you guys go on all the platforms and then see, be a practitioner, see what works best for you. And if LinkedIn doesn't work best for you, then, then all right, man. I say still keep it and just pump information in there but um, obviously, go to where the go to where the attraction is, where uh, you're grabbing attention, and then just go full throttle on that, guys. Social media is it. I'm telling you guys, it's the way to go. It's super important, man. Uh, and so I thought I'd share that with you guys because I get that question a lot. I'm starting my business. What do I do? Just create content. Create content. And so if it's um, what about you know a lot of people are like. Uh, quantity over quality i don't think i don't even accept that premise i think you can have quantity and quality and the quality nowadays doesn't have to be you know george lucas you know apple type you can mo, the the videos that go viral the most are on that platform on this phone it's not off of you know a three thousand dollar four thousand dollar camera 4k it's off of a phone Right. And so 
I'm not saying that you're going to make a video and it's going to go viral, but your chances of going viral are diminished if you're only doing one video a month. I'm thinking, I'm planning on doing this every other night so that I can have content, put it on YouTube, and just talk about stuff, man, and give you guys uh, some information as far as concealed carry, as far as our holsters, so that you guys can go out there and make an educated decision on what it is that you want to spend your money on or what it is that you want to do with your business. You know, should I do uh, Instagram? Should I do Twitter? Is Twitter dead? Is it gone? Look, there's a lot of platforms that still work, man. All the platforms out there are going to work. Publications work. Billboard signs work. But there's stuff that works way better. Right now, Facebook is it, man. Facebook for us is it. It's it. Google's expensive. Facebook is getting expensive, guys. If you guys are thinking about, you know, starting a business or if you guys are, have a business and you're thinking about doing Facebook ads, do it, man, because it's getting expensive. And Google ads, what they were back in 2000, we're going to be talking about Facebook in the next couple of years. Like, man, I should spend more money on Facebook. You know, so um, just guys, want to share that with you guys. Go out there, get on all the platforms. If you want to sell brand, self branding is super important as well. Uh, I think that's what the big guys are going to start doing on social media. They're doing it already, right? But I think that, you know, the way Burger King brought in uh, or McDonald's brought in Ronald McDonald, right? And, and, and Burger King brought in all the characters, you know, the hamburger and all that. Um, it's just coming back. It's just, it's not that it's coming back, but it's just self-branding is super important, guys. And people are going to start doing it. And you don't want to be the last one or you don't want to fall too far behind. Again, you don't have to be the first one. You just have to be the best at it or one of the best. So I thought I'd share that. I really wanted to share that because everything that we spoke, I spoke with, with John Bartolo yesterday kind of directly correlates to what I just said. Um, go check it out again, John Bartolo, John Bartolo Show. I was on there for about a good 10, 15 minutes, somewhere around there, I don't know. And uh, I think it was good, it was good content. So uh, if you have time, go check it out. A um, Couple more questions, guys, and I gotta get going. When are you guys going to come out with a new Glock 19? Like, okay, I already, I already answered that. I haven't been on the site in a while, but have you guys created the left-handed holster for Glock 19? With a light? No, not with a light, David. Sorry, man, but we do have a Glock 19 holster. Go check it out, bravoconsumer.com. We have a search bar. As soon as you go on the homepage, it says search by gun, click on that, and then just put their Glock, or you're gonna see a drop down menu, and then you click on it, and then they, you know, the menus just start dropping down even more and more. And just, you know, you'll find whatever it is that you're looking for, if we offer it, right? If we don't, well, then we don't. Uh, and if you think it fits one of our gun holsters, because maybe we missed it, uh, then shoot us an email or pick up the phone and call us Monday through Friday, eight to five. What would be a better inside the waistband? What would be better inside the waistband or outside the waistband carry? Just wondering, that's all. Okay, sir. Yeah, no, great question, Steve. That's a great question. And the answer to that is whatever suits you best. It's going to be up to you, the end user. I can't tell you for me inside the waistband. That's what I carry about 80% of the time by far. And so I love inside the waistband. Outside the waistband, it's 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 great, but uh, I just prefer inside the waistband. I've been doing it for such a long time, and that's what works for me. I know people that can't carry keys in their front pockets. They can't carry a phone in their front pockets. They're not gonna be able to stick a gun holster inside their pants. They're not, with a gun. So it's just up to you, the end user. Um, I think inside the waistband allows you to conceal a little bit better, but that's just my opinion. There's a lot of people that swear on our outside the waistbands and that they're better than inside the waistband. They are more comfortable. Anytime you stick a gun in your pants, you're gonna feel it a little bit more than if it's a gun holster outside on your belt. So uh, those things to consider, what's your comfort level? Again, people can't carry change. They can't carry you know, keychains in their pockets. If, if you don't have a comfort, if your comfort level is, is, um, is, is not a, or how can I say it? If your comfort level, if your comfort level is low, then you may have to go outside the waistband and just dress around it. It's possible. You can do it. You can, you can, you can conceal carry outside the waistband. You can. Um, it's just up to you. Whatever it is that's going to work best for you guys. Um,
So I hope that I answered that question, Steve. Andrew, uh, could I swap the 1.5 inch belt loops for 175 belt loops upon purchase? Thanks. Email us. Shoot us an email, man. Say, you know what? I'm in the cart. I'm ready to rock. I just want 175s instead of 150s. We may not be able to put them on for you, but you know, maybe we can throw them in. I don't email us, talk to our customer service. Usually, you know, they're good with stuff like that, man. Appreciate the live videos. Keep it up. Thanks, Steve. Steve Neal. Thanks a lot, man. We'll do David. Thanks. All right, Steve. Thank you for the information, sir. Ezekiel. Thank you. GDT be blessed, my friend. All right, man. I know it's getting late, man. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Oh, here I go again. It's just, it just comes from within me, man. I don't know what else to say. I mean, how many, how many ways can you say that you guys are awesome? You guys are awesome. That's it. Bottom line in the story. Um, I need an IWB nine millimeter shield for t with a TLR six. Sorry, man. We don't offer that TLR six, TLR seven. You guys are making a lot of noise out there. Uh, we may have to throw one in there. Uh, but if we do, it's going to take, it's going to take time. So my apologies. We don't offer it, Danny. Uh, but hopefully one day we will, man, but it's going to be a long while. Um, Steve, yes, sir, you did. Thank you. Um, guys, um, thank you so much, man. Again, here I go. Uh, just want to thank you guys for everything. Um, keep doing what you guys are doing, man. Even if you haven't bought anything from us, follow us, check out our videos. If you like these conversations, great. If you don't fine, I get it. It's not for everyone. I'm hoping it's for most of you guys. Go check out our gun holsters. Same thing. They're not for everyone, but they're for most. Our return rate is super low, guys. And that's because we offer a 30 day money back guarantee, meaning take it out to the range, go get it dirty, get it ugly, use it. If you don't like it, send it back. Full refund. That's it. No questions asked. Well, I, do I need to clean it? No, you don't need to clean it, man. Uh, I broke it. Don't worry about it. Send it back. If you didn't like it, send it back. That's it. We're taking all the risk, man. We just want to put it in your hands because we know you're going to love it. We know you're gonna love them, man. We know you're gonna love them. Guys, this is so easy for me. This isn't it, it's, it's not even a sales pitch. I'm just speaking from the heart. It's it's so easy for me to sit here and talk about our products because I love them, man. I, because I run them every single day and I run other holsters. And dude, I'm telling you guys, these things are the best. And yeah, I'm the owner, I get it, but I'm not trying to sell you. I'm just speaking from my heart. If this makes you go out and buy a gun holster, great. If it doesn't, I don't care. I'm just, I'm talking to you as a friend. These things are awesome, man. They're awesome. And again, if they're not for you, put it back in the box, send it back to us. That's it. We don't want to keep your money if you're not happy with the product. We don't. So, guys, thank you so much, man. You guys are awesome. Uh, what's the website address? BravoConsumer.com. Simple. Just Google Bravo Concealment. You're going to see us. Um, love it. No doubt. Try one by several. <laughs> All right. Lee. Thanks a lot, guys. Um, this video will be up on, uh, YouTube and this podcast, the voice is going to be on our podcast, the Bravo audio show. You can just go, we're on Twitter, not Twitter. We're on TuneIn. Uh, we're on, uh, iTunes. Uh, we're on Spotify. We're on SoundCloud. We're everywhere, man. So go check us out. Uh, just Google us, man. Google Bravo Concealment, you'll see us wherever we're at. B Google Bravo Concealment, social media. You're gonna find us, man. We're everywhere. I got a head, I got a hold of uh, Andriana C in customer service, and she sent me to the website to buy some 175 belt loops for $15. That is really what is keeping me from completing my cart. Oh, I get you, man. So we sell them, we sell them separate. Yeah, my apologies, Andrew. Um, uh, yeah, we don't swap, man. We just can't because these holsters are ready to rock. They're packaged and everything. Um, uh, I don't know what to say. You know what, Andrew, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll DM them or, uh, I'll message them and, uh, maybe they can get something going for you tomorrow, man. I can't promise you anything. Again, I'm not customer service. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see what I can do for you, man. I have a collection of Bravo holsters. My MMP and Glocks, I have not had to return any. Keep on keeping on. Thank you so much, John. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, Andrew, let me see. I got your name here. Let me write it down. I'll have it here. Andrew Eister. Let me see what I can do, man. And I'll talk to Andriana. Maybe she can reach out to you or whatever the case is. And we'll throw some in there, man. All right? I really want you to purchase the gun holster. I think you're going to love it. Guys, thank you so much. I will do this again. I'll talk to you guys soon.